What's going on guys? Back again with another video. Today I'm actually installing some bumper mounts on my Audi S4. So this is what we're working with right here. So I pretty much bought a set of these bumper uh, mounts that kind of hold your bumper up because my bumper is actually ripped off in this section right here so it can't actually hold itself up. The only way to actually fix this would be to get a whole new bumper itself and uh, that's not in the budget right now so we're using these uh, nice little clamps here to actually hold everything up. So I already installed this one in there, I think two days ago. And I actually recorded that video also, but the angles weren't working right. So I wanted to make a more informative video for you guys. So I might actually do it again. And so there's still kind of like a little gap right here. I might actually put another mount right here and right here to hold up a little bit more. All right, so here's what you're actually gonna need. So out of the kit, you're gonna need the two buttons that support the bumper, rubber band, two washers, two screws, and two bolts pretty much. You also need some paint or primer paint because you're drilling into the bumper don't want it to rust over so this will help it uh stay protected you're gonna need a phillips head screwdriver you're also gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench and also a corresponding allen key and unfortunately the kit does not come with a wrench or an allen key so you got to have these tools just on standby but this is all you need right here you also need a drill all right it's actually drilled to the bumper i'm going with a 532 first and then i'm gonna end with a 732 clean everything up all right, so the first thing you want to do is actually make sure your wheel is kind of turned to the right. This way you have access to your fender liner here. And all you want to do is pretty much find these screws that go into here. There's one right here, corresponding one right here. Just unscrew those, and you'll be able to pull your fender liner back. So after that's unscrewed, you should have access to your whole bumper, which is right in this area here. So what you want to do now is pretty much find out where you want to drill your holes into. So pretty much situate the bumper exactly how you want it to be. And then kind of see where you can actually support the bumper. So I'm going to do it about right here and also right here. Then the other thing you want to do is actually fill behind your bumper. Make sure there's no connections or cables in the way that you're drilling into. And you don't, you don't want to drill into where the um, support is, the original bumper support. You want to drill a little bit below that and then all the space up here should be pretty much hollow so take your hand go behind there also see where things can actually rest up at yep i can get my hand all the way back to exactly where i need to be all right so at this point now you can kind of get your bumper supports you can line everything up see how you want it to sit and i'm thinking about right here in this area might be pretty good so that should be able to support it. I'm gonna start with the, the top mount. So what you can do right at this point right here is get some painter's tape to lay over this. That way you can mark it up a little bit better, but I'm just gonna take a, probably a Sharpie, mark where I want the hole to be, and then start drilling. Go make a little mark right in this area here. So once you have the area that you wanna drill into, go ahead and grab your drill, grab the five and 32 first, we're gonna go ahead and make a hole then again before you drill make sure you go ahead and check behind there one more time make sure nothing is in the way that could obstruct uh the drilling you don't want to drill to any uh wires or anything like that too so feels pretty free right now so i'm gonna go ahead and start drilling Then go ahead and switch to your seven and 32. Slide that in there and go ahead and do the same process. Just like that. All right, so now what you wanna do is grab yourself some paint. So get your Q-tip nice and uh, soaked up. We'll go in from the front first. Some more paint. Make sure you're going from the back side as well. All right, so the next thing you want to do is take your screw, go ahead and put it inside the hole and try to actually um, drill it in. Perfect. All right, so now that this hole is all situated, go ahead and take a button. Go ahead and slide your screw through the button and actually start going ahead and drilling into the, the actual hole now. So it might slide right in, it might not, but here all right so last thing you want to do is go behind it with a washer and a bolt 
slide those on, take your wrench and tighten everything down. So this goes right behind the bumper. So we get the washer on first. All right, so I got the bolt on the back. So go ahead and take your 10 millimeter wrench and take your Allen key also, and just go ahead and tighten everything down. I'm actually see if I'm going there with a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. Let's see if we can just turn it easier. All right, so that's on there. Really, really tight. Very nice. Then you just do the same thing down here on the bottom bumper. It's much easier. This pops out. You can see everything clearly. So it should be less of a hassle. All right, so now that you have this button on, you can actually put the rubber band on here and kind of see how you want it to line up. Make sure all of your angles, angles are still where you want them to be. So if you guys were actually worried about uh, messing up your bumper because you're drilling into it, to redo your work, all you gotta do is get some body filler and some touch-up paint, and then simply go back through with the body filler, plug, plug the holes up, put the touch-up paint on, and it should look just about the same. All right, so all you gotta do now is get your bumper situated where you want it to be. And then go ahead and put your bands on. Go ahead and put your fender liner screw back where it's supposed to be. And that's pretty much it. You have a fully mounted bumper now. Sits pretty much flush with everything. And yeah, two supports definitely did make a difference. This one is a little bit uh, crazy. You can see on the camera too, but uh, it still looks pretty good. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about how to put these on, leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on my Audi S4, which I am rebuilding, but at an auction, subscribe and like this video. See more content about that. Check out my old videos also. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.